Again, then. Tenerife, Costa Decky on a hired baby GS. <sighs> it's so hot. Right then, apologies if these, uh, if the audio is going to be a bit too loud, I've had to do a bit of a makeshift setup. <laughs> Gaffer tape strapped to my helmet again, I will definitely take a photo of it this time. Yeah, so I'm on a, a 650GS. And let's go and get lost. In the mountains! Right then, we're going to head. Um, oops, got to get used to these uh, indicators on this BM. Right now, you cancel them. How do you cancel these indicators then? How do you cancel these f***ing indicators? I'll do another check of the whole camera thing in a minute because I was sweating down there sorting all that out. Makeshift helmet mounts while you're abroad, not good. And I've lost my drift helmet mount, uh, drift goggle mount. So I've had to borrow my mate's GP mount. But it's not for a helmet with a visor on it, so you can't do it properly. I've had, to put the, I've had to put it on upside down, just so I can get it to, you know, my visor to open and that. They're all knackered, these bikes at your eye, aren't they? Yeah. So I want to be heading uh, west along the coast. I'm going to head out towards Los Gigantes. I think this is the way we went last time, actually. Oh, so the uh, Norwegian Tour Series finished last night. Finished. Oh. And if you haven't seen it, if you watch, if you're just watching this as a random video, I urge you to go and watch it because it's super, 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 super.
Go on then, Lester, tell me how you cancel these indicators. Are they supposed to be self cancelling or something? Right then, where shall we go? I want to go down here. These might just be uh, dead ends, though, to, to the uh, hotels. So I've got a top box strapped on, a knackered top box strapped on, even more knackered than mine. Well, mine's not knackered, is it? It's just got a couple of little war wounds on it from its little tumble. Well, we longed for some proper sun, didn't we? All them, all them miles up in Norway. And now I'm sweltering. I've got no jacket on. Just got my hired helmet, brought my gloves from home, my uh, vice ones, and bare arms, so we'll have to be careful. But I'm wearing my wild bad uniform, so that's uh, that's all good. And uh, thank you to all the people that have sent tons and tons and tons of messages of, of congratulations to me and Laura, first off, for the uh, kiddie news. Thank you very much, that's very nice of you. And then um, also for you know, all your comments on the tour and how much you've enjoyed it. And please, come on, someone keeps having a moan at me. Oh, I've had it with you guys. What is it? Why, um... What have you, what the f*** have you got against GoPro? Because mine's fine. I love mine, and the glass aren't broken on mine. When did I ever say I got something against the GoPro? The GoPro is a fantastic camera. Absolutely fantastic. Footage, as I said on the final video, is superb. But, to me, the drift is better for motorbikes, purely for positioning. Because you've got the rotatable lens, you can put it any way you want and still have a, a flat horizon. Whereas on the GoPro, you've not got that um, freedom. So stop having a moan, will you, dude? You're probably just sad, weren't you, that the tour's finished. Can't get used to this gearbox. And the accelerator. Throttle. Throttle like there's nothing, then it bites all of a sudden. I'm sure I'll get used to it by the end of today. I'm just going to keep heading west along the coastline till I pick up this road to Damascus. The road to Damascus. The blinding road to Damascus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's full petrol, but. You never know, do you, at higher places? I suppose it's better that way. Hire it out full, just make sure it comes back full. Well done, how the fuck are the cars supposed to get through there? So I've just um, figured out, I've just been moaning on about how to cancel them indicators. Just figured out there's a little switch that cancels them. <laughs> Hola, buenas dias, eh? number tres, por favor. Gracias. Tier 47. That rings a bell. Las Gigantes, that's the one, look. And this is where we stopped, yeah. Me and uh, my mate Balcock last year when we were a bit lost. We stopped here in this lay-by on the way back from TD. And I remember this then being a bit of a nightmare road to get out of. I'm out of here. Yeah. 
let's go to Los These jeans are super tight. Not exactly uh, ideal for riding in. Middle, middle, middle. Well, let's go and get loads of photos. I love Tenerife. Been coming here for 10 years, I think. Solidly for 10 years every year. We just have a little week in October. September, October. Um, yeah, I love it. Love it here. Yeah. I must try and strike up a deal with someone, some of these bike hires though, so I can use the same one every year or something like that. Could even run a tour down here. What do you think? Jump on a plane at home. Fly down here. A few nights in a cheap hotel. And ride in. Every day. Not too bad, eh? So that's it. The tour series is finished. You don't know how much that stressed me out. <laughs> making that. <laughs> and I know it worked in my favour, really, by doing the Wednesday and Sunday thing. You know, so it made people want to sit and... You know, wait, wait for the next one. Wait for the next one. Eight o'clock. They're sitting there watching it, just like a, like a mini TV show or something. Fantastic. But I did it purely to give me time to make the videos. I literally have had no time off since we got back from Norway. And since I've got to Tenerife, I have been so knackered. I think it's just uh, you know when you're going at 100 mile an hour with everything, and then all of a sudden it just stops. That's, uh, yeah, it's really taken it out of me. I played with a band down here in Tenerife about five or six years ago. And um, they were absolutely fantastic. Well, I knew that about four years ago they left Tenerife and moved to Fortaventura. Well, at least some members did. And uh, I've not seen, you know, or heard any of them since. And anyway, the other night, uh, we stayed down in, yeah, we're having some uh, nice Italian down in... Uh, Kostradecki and he emailed me to say dude I'm in Tenerife I'm gigging just around the corner from you so I went to see him the other night and he invited me up to play with him so thank you Izzy you little beauty all right enjoy that my friend thank you even after about 50 pints well maybe not 50 pints I'm sure there was a note or two out of place from my fingers and from my gob so I apologize if uh, if it was a little bit crap. This helmet is shit. Visor's scratched to shit. In fact, this one fits a lot better than the last year's one. If you remember that one, every time I turned around, it nearly nearly flew off my head. I think visor's gonna go up. <coughs> Apologies if it's making too much noise with it up. It's a little bit too warm to have it down. The beach there somewhere, San Juan. We'll push on to Gigantes. We once did a um, jet ski safari across here as well. So, from where we set off earlier on at the hotel, the beach is only about five, ten minutes. And there uh, we rode. Rode? Do you ride a jet ski? Yeah, sure. Sailor jet? No, right, I don't know. Anyway, we rode it all the way across from Costa Radecki, right up, you'll see in a minute, right from over there, right down this way. Pretty cool. Egon's asked me to tell you that he's doing really well at his uh, petrol pump course. He's slowly getting the hang of it. Apparently he lift up the nozzle, put the nozzle into the tank, then press the trigger and wait for the numbers to increase, which means petrol is being delivered. And then once it clicks off, that means it's stopped and it's full. So you simply pull out the nozzle, place the nozzle back in the pump, Close up the petrol cap and you're ready to go. But not before you have to pay the nice lady. They use this hotel quite a bit on um, the Isle of Fernando's. Uh, for those, uh, you know, American friends and friends not of the UK. The Isle of Fernando, it's a TV show called Take Me Out. It's like a dating game show. And, um, at the end they get to go on a special holiday to the Isle of Fernando which is just Tenerife I'll need to check this helmet and camera again shortly make sure nothing's moved I better look alright Bobby Dazzler I've got bright yellow gaffer tape holding this black helmet strap in place 
but hopefully it'll be a bit, be a bit better than last year's attempt because the helmet is a lot better than last year's it's just a bit scabby yeah I should be able to do once I get all the way over here like you know a shortcut up into mountains somewhere I thought nice steady 26 degrees as you know I am obsessed with the temperature whether I'm on the bike or not so I do like to let you know because it's nice to know what temperatures people are riding in isn't it I find it nice to know anyway Porto Santiago GF47 I know what you're saying now Lester about these seats on GS I've only been riding about 20 minutes and my ass is killing this is a friend of ours you must have seen him on the um, on the Wales video I think he might have been on a couple of videos now he's got the, the brand new GS lovely lovely bike he's dropped it about 14 times too heavy for him can't handle it need stabilizers on it should we go for an overtake This helmet is whistling like a bitch. This isn't exactly the sticks that we like to be in, is it? Puerto Santiago. I have got foreign accent syndrome, haven't I? That's actually a real disorder, isn't it? Foreign accent syndrome. Head traumas and things like that. And you can wake up or, you know, come round and have a different, different accent. That's strange. And I am in no way taking the piss out of it. A bit cloudy today isn't it as you can see I've got my two remotes strapped to my wrist that one is for the S and this one is for the front facer I brought my suction cup mount as well but there's not really anywhere on this bike for me to um, utilize it so you might have to just be looking at me watchable but hugely self-indulgent someone hashtagged that on one of it, it twitters the other day last night after the uh, final episode of the tour <laughs> you're all crazy you lot absolutely crazy I've got nice talk these beamers have so the big one must be mega far too much for you to handle Lester if you ever want me to do a review of it, just pass it over. I don't need stabilizers. Well, this is totally different to a decky side. Oh, we're climbing. It's steeper, this isn't it? Ah, this will make for some good photos, won't it? Yeah, this is where we did the uh, jet ski safari, come all the way across, and then just up around here somewhere. Santiago del TD. It's not a bad bike, this, you know. It goes well. It don't go very fast, but it pulls well. Aha. Aha. Twisty roads for three kilometers. <laughs> this what we like. Oh yeah, that's what we like. And this road should take me to Mascus. Come on, son. Let's have you popping out now. Get rid of these clouds. Burn them off. Fancy having a little baby Vida coming, eh? 
how Laura, how she told me, we got basically she did a test the day we left for our Norway tour. So she knew that night that we left. I spoke to her every single day on the phone during the tour and I never detected anything. She never told me, she never said anything. And she said every night she spoke to me on the phone, she put the phone down and started crying. But I didn't detect anything from her at all. And then when I got home, I was like, oh, knackered, blah, 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 you know, unloading all my stuff. Gave her a little present, bought some perfume, and she went, oh, I've got your present as well. Little card, opened the card up, and it got pregnancy test in it, and said, you're going to be a daddy. I was like, what the hell? No, I weren't really. I actually, <laughs> I looked at it, and I, the split second it took to sink in, I was looking at it thinking, oh, lovely, who's pregnant? And then I thought, oh, we are. <laughs> So yeah, don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. In any case, he or she will be a musician and um, and a biker. <laughs> I can't wait. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but there's no right time, is there? There's no correct time, should I say? Because this feels like it's the right time anyway. So by the time we do the USA tour, I think we're going to have to make the tour about October-ish time, but we'll see. Well, it's been fantastic because I keep having people offering offering us a meal and you know a meal at their family table and a place to stay for all the lads that come on tour you lot honestly are amazing and we will take you up on that and we'll put you in the film and it'll all be very very cool there's so many friendly people out there it's unbelievable look at this road that twists up here look I do like this laid back seating position on this can't be jumping on two wheels and getting lost can you folks I'll tee you that way remember that I love being out in sticks <laughs> I found a couple of very cool um, hashtags as well during this tour from like American friends about the wild bad Norwegian tour hashtag dangerously close to needing subtitles <laughs> oh man oh man hey now look where we are we're getting lost in the middle of nowhere yeah He's just a good old boy. Hey, you like that bit, didn't you? Yes, folks, I know I keep going on about the Norway tour, and this is supposed to be a video of um, Tenerife, but the tour only finished last night. So this is the first video I've made since the tour. So, like I say, if you've not seen it, I urge you to click that link at the top to start at episode one and dedicate three weeks of your time... <laughs> There's 19 episodes, so it does take quite a while. But, I think you'll enjoy it. Nice and high now, aren't we? I do, I properly feel at home riding on the right. And I know all you American friends must be thinking, what a weirdo. That's where you're supposed to ride anyway. But the UK, we ride on the left, and it's, uh, well, it's normal, completely normal. Obviously, we've grown up doing it, so... 20-odd years of doing it, but um, it just feels more natural on right, it does. Yeah, going back to the whole um, watchable but hugely self-indulgent. We do it for a laugh, come on, chill out a bit. Try and make your films that are good for you to watch and they enjoy watching and not boring or full of statistics that are just bore you to tears. That's why we started doing Paul's useless facts and making statistics up. The first, the first uh, ten minutes of the final episode last night when Paul stood on Malibu Beach pointing to the Mediterranean someone commented wait straight away saying uh, Paul I think you'll find that's the Pacific Ocean that's exactly why we do Paul's useless facts so yeah we just do it for a bit of fun and um, try and make it interesting and daft and watchable someone also asked last night if our tours are just for friends or for anyone well they are for anyone really but it's you know it's never going to be you know, we're taking 20 riders on tour or something. We don't want it to be like that. That's too much of a business then, and we're not into that. Like Paul said in the final, we do it to have a laugh, and we want to always have a laugh. Right, then I should be turning left here somewhere. We'll definitely offer a few places on tours, yeah, definitely. I can get to TD that way as well. Masker, there we go. Not Mascus, Masker. 
This seat is shit on this bike. I know my mate always moans about his on, the, on his 1200 GS. But you'd have thought they'd have been fantastic, wouldn't you, for the what kind of bike it is. But my ass is killing already. Yeah, and don't think of us saying, oh, there's, there's going to be a few people coming on tour. It's not any daft exclusive club or anything stupid like that. We just, uh, you know, if we take too many, it's going to get, we'll be worried about stuff and, you know, panicking about everyone enjoying themselves. So but there will definitely be places for a few people on each one. But spaces will be very limited and you will obviously have to pay a very tall premium for that limited space of course I was joking Masca, let's go any fees and things like that what we charge for them it's just for you know to cover ferries obviously um, Apartment, sleeping, all that, accommodation, that's the word I meant. Accommodation. Hey, oh, we've got some twisties here, haven't we? Um, and also towards the making of the film. Because it does... What are you doing? It does take me a long time to make them. And, it, you know, it's a lot of effort, a lot of work. And, you know, if you're coming on tour and you've seen our tours, that's what you get from it. A big film, isn't it? And that's what you want. A film that you're on. This fella's getting on my tits. He does not know how to drive. Saw a woman the other day at home, in a car, on the phone, fag on, and child in the back. Well done, woman. Well done. There's TD. See her up there. Third highest volcano in the world. It is actually quite misty up there, isn't it? Look at that then. Look at this road going all the way down here. Super. Look how much you can see like a mirror today. It's just a bit hazy. Yeah. This is ace. The gearing's dead high on this. It's, that's in first. I won't be moving now if I use an engine braking in first on mine. Look at this. Beautiful. What a road. It did say it were good in. Oh man, look down there. This is a superb road, isn't it? What a great road.
great road and equally great view. And no traffic on it. Oh man, this is... It's what aloe vera plants. See them? just noticed on my phone that I've had a private message from Drift Innovations. Let's keep fingers crossed. They want to jump on the wild bad bus. Aloe vera everywhere. Look at all these massive plants lot. Natural aloe vera. Look <laughs> at the road just ends up flat. Dink. This is amazing. I had no idea this road was here. I just keep stopping at every corner to have a look at it. Just look at that. <laughs> just all aloe vera, look, all this. No wonder Tenerife's famous for it. This is Masca then. It says some of the best views on the island and I believe it. Then we're going to have something to eat, shall we? Keys in there. Right then, let's go and see. What a fantastic place this is. This is the restaurant. <coughs> then. Pretty cool, eh? Hola. Hola. In there? Okay. This way. Thank you. Hola. Beautiful. Bit cloudy today, eh? Okay, great. Let's see what we've got. Thank you. Can I have uh, some water, please? Agua. Uh, with. Thank you. Oh, I've got my little friend here, look. Little pony cat. So Tenerife video goes viral just because there's a little cat in it. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Hey? Right, 
you? Hey? He's handsome devil, ain't he? Hey? Forgot a friend. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please, yeah. Caprese. Yeah, thank you very much. Look at that, folks. That's one hell of a view, isn't it? Hey. Absolutely amazing. I've been coming to this island this long never even realised that this was even here. That's stupid, isn't it? And this is by far the best bar. Obviously you've got the sun and the sand beaches and stuff over there. This is amazing. Amazing. Anyway, I'm going to eat some dinner. I'll be back later.